as she meticulously set up the hidden camera. Her heart raced with anticipation. Wondering what revelations it might unveil about her father's interactions with the kids. Carl. A widowed father. Found himself grappling with the daunting task of single-handedly raising his twin babies after his beloved wife tragically passed away during childbirth. Balancing the demands of his construction job with childcare became increasingly arduous. Leading him to exhaust all avenues to ensure his children's well-being. In a stroke of luck tinged with misfortune. Carl suffered a debilitating leg injury while on duty. Rendering him unable to continue his work in construction. Struggling to make ends meet. He faced the harsh reality of financial instability and the daunting prospect of providing for his family on a meager budget. With resilience as his compass. Carl persevered. Eventually securing a job as a cashier at a local grocery store. Though the salary was modest. It provided a glimmer of hope in an otherwise bleak financial landscape. Allowing Carl to navigate their days on a shoestring budget with renewed determination. The kindness of neighbors often serves as an unexpected beacon of light in times of darkness. Mrs. Jones. A compassionate soul from next door. Extended her warmth and generosity to Carl and his twins, offering homemade cookies and a listening ear. Witnessing the makeshift sleeping arrangements for the babies. Her heart swelled with empathy. Prompting her to suggest a practical solution, acquiring a crib from a flea market. Navigating the unfamiliar terrain of flea markets proved less daunting with Mrs. Jones by his side. Together. They embarked on a quest to find the perfect crib for Carl's precious babies. Weaving through aisles adorned with treasures of days past. Upon bringing the crib home, Carl embarked on the task of cleaning it. Unaware of the unexpected surprise awaiting him beneath its weathered surface. As he meticulously polished the wood and removed the worn cushion. His fingers brushed against an envelope concealed beneath. Sparking a curious intrigue. With trembling hands, Carl gingerly opened the envelope, unveiling a letter that would forever alter his perspective on family and kindness. The words penned within spoke of an anonymous act of benevolence. A reminder that family transcends blood ties. And that sometimes, the greatest gifts come from unexpected sources. Heart pounding with anticipation, Carl absorbed the contents of the letter his thoughts swirling with wonder and gratitude. Amidst the mundane routines of daily life, a glimmer of magic awaited him at Station Road, promising a treasure hidden beneath the guise of House Number 93. Carl stood there, dumbfounded yet intrigued. The next day, he entrusted the care of the babies to his neighbor Sharon, as he usually did when he had to leave home. He then set off to the given address. Arriving, he found himself facing an abandoned, decrepit house. Assuming the instruction to look under the house meant underground. He commenced digging in the backyard. Days passed as Carl diligently excavated the vast expanse. But to no avail. Disheartened. He eventually ceased his daily visits. Convinced the letter had been a mere prank. However. Fate intervened. While working his shift at the grocery store, Carl stumbled upon another note nestled in the receipt basket. The handwriting was unmistakably the same. Digging is not what will lead you to it. The note read. What you're looking for is under the house. Go to the living room and look under the carpet. Skeptical yet hopeful. Carl tucked the note into his pocket and returned to the old house the following day. To his astonishment. Beneath the carpet lay a secret cache. Oh my. So it was all true. He marveled. As he unlatched the box and uncovered its contents. Upon opening the box. Carl discovered thick wads of cash totaling $50,000. But there was more, a note awaited him. I collected this money for my granddaughter. Who lived for only three days. I had dreamed about buying her many things with this money. But that day never came. I hope this will help your children. Shocked by the tragedy behind the money. Carl wondered about the crib's owner. 
determined to share his find. He confided in Mrs. Jones, who had guided him to the notes and the money. The next day, when Carl visited her, he noticed a sticky note on her door. This is my new address. Carl. I'm relocating. But I'll continue getting groceries from your store. I hope you drop by sometime to enjoy my delicious cookies. Mrs. Jones. Touched by her gesture, Carl realized Mrs. Jones had been his silent benefactor all along. Matching handwriting confirmed it. Overwhelmed. He rushed to her new address. Embracing her tearfully. Why didn't you just tell me it was you helping us? You've been an angel in disguise. Mrs. Jones. He sobbed. I just wanted to help you without hurting your dignity. Carl. She reassured him. I knew if I offered you the money. You'd never take it. And I had to do it this way. Grateful beyond words. Carl proposed something to her. Would you like to be my daughter's grandmother? I sincerely hope you wouldn't say no. Touched by the offer. Mrs. Jones accepted wholeheartedly. Carl bought a larger house. Inviting Mrs. Jones to move in with them. She sold her old home and became a cherished grandmother to Carl's twins. Seamlessly blending into their family. Their story taught Carl a profound lesson, sometimes. Silent gestures of kindness preserve dignity more than overt displays of charity. Mrs. Jones recognized that Carl was facing financial difficulties but understood that he might not accept her help outright. So. She found a discreet way to assist him. She knew that family isn't solely defined by blood ties. Tragically. Mrs. Jones had lost her granddaughter. Depriving her of the chance to be a grandmother. However. Meeting Carl changed everything allowing her to become a loving grandmother to his children. As for Carl, his actions stemmed from a deep sense of compassion and empathy. He recognized Mrs. Jones' silent gestures of support and reciprocated by inviting her into his family, understanding the value of her presence and love. Meanwhile, Stella was shocked to discover her husband's behavior towards their children on the hidden camera recording she'd set up while she was at work. Despite her initial disbelief, she knew she had to confront the situation. Stella and Josh's journey to parenthood was marked by challenges, including years of trying before finally welcoming their daughter Emma into the world. Their joy multiplied when they welcomed their son Ben in 2019, completing their family. Emma and Ben were the center of Stella and Josh's world, bringing them a sense of completeness as a family. However, Unforeseen challenges lay ahead. As a working mother, Stella faced the difficult task of balancing her career with motherhood. Despite being admired as a superwoman by some, she grappled with the emotional toll of leaving her children at home while she pursued her full-time job. Initially, Stella and Josh had agreed that he would be a stay-at-home dad while Stella worked. Little did she know. She would soon uncover unsettling truths about her husband's actions during her absence. Stella noticed a change in Josh's behavior. Sensing a growing distance and preoccupation with undisclosed thoughts. His aloofness left her unsettled. But she had yet to uncover the depth of his strange behavior. One night. Waking to find Josh absent from their bed. Stella's concern peaked. Calling out to him yielded no response. Venturing out to investigate. She was met with a sight that sent chills down her spine. In the dim light of their home. Stella observed Josh quietly closing Emma's bedroom door in the wee hours of the morning. Puzzled and alarmed. She couldn't shake off the nagging feeling that something was amiss. It could have been dismissed as a parental duty. A late night check-in with their daughter. But the unease lingered hinting at something darker lurking beneath the surface. Setting up the nanny cam was a strategic move for Stella amidst her intensifying workload. With long hours at work, she sought a means to check on her children remotely. 
feeling a sense of cleverness in her solution. Now. She could catch glimpses of her kids whenever she missed them. However. The footage she encountered upon reviewing the recordings left her taken aback. As she delved into the footage, Stella realized the power of surveillance in keeping a vigilant eye on her children. The convenience of the nanny cam, accessible via a mobile app, allowed her to monitor their activities remotely. But nothing could have prepared her for what she uncovered in the footage of her husband and their children. Without informing her husband, Stella initiated the recording before heading to work, deeming it unnecessary to disclose her surveillance. During her lunch break, she seized the opportunity to watch the footage, seeking solace in the familiar scenes of her children, anticipating heartwarming moments to share with their family. She was unprepared for the startling discovery awaiting her. The footage commenced innocently, capturing her children's joyous antics in the living room, eliciting a smile from Stella. However, her husband's unexpected appearance in the frame marked a turning point. What unfolded next would alter everything she thought she knew. In a matter of minutes, Stella witnessed her husband's true colors. A revelation far from what she had anticipated. As Josh, her partner of 15 years, engaged in playful antics with their daughter, eliciting giggles and smiles, Stella felt a surge of warmth. But then, in a moment that shattered her perception, Josh's actions took a drastic turn, leaving Stella frozen in disbelief. She knew she had to share this revelation with others. It couldn't be ignored. Was this some sort of twisted joke? Stella couldn't shake the feeling of incredulity as she watched her husband's inexplicable behavior unfold on the hidden camera feed. Determined not to let him get away with it. She realized that his assumption of privacy was about to be shattered. The scene initially captured the innocent joy of Stella's children. Immersed in playful activities in the living room. The rhythmic bounce of the baby's bouncer matched the upbeat tempo of Katy Perry's hit song, E.T. Echoing through the room. Meanwhile, the older child twirled brightly colored pom-poms in sync with the music. Unaware of the impending disruption. As the children reveled in the music, Stella's husband entered the frame, seemingly preoccupied with a box. However, instead of tending to his chores, he diverted his attention to the unsuspecting children, his actions taking an unexpected and concerning turn. The father kicked off the performance by leaning down to his daughter, effortlessly executing the iconic robot dance move. Much to the delight of his children, their infectious laughter echoed through the room as he made his way towards them, perfectly syncing his movements to the rhythm. As the music played on, he seamlessly transitioned into lip-syncing the lyrics, embodying the playful spirit of the song, concluding the robot dance with a surprising pirouette. The father showcased an unexpected gracefulness. Despite his larger stature, his dad dance moves, though typical, added to the charm of the moment, endearing him even more to those who witnessed the spectacle. But the heartwarming interaction didn't stop there. The father, ever the entertainer, sidled up to his youngest, matching her bounces with his own grooves, eliciting giggles and smiles from the baby. Meanwhile, the eldest daughter eagerly involved him in a pom-pom routine, urging him to dance with both hands. Amidst the laughter and joy, the father took the pom-poms and performed an impressive cheerleader routine, showcasing his playful side and captivating his audience. Even as the song reached its crescendo, he continued to twirl the pom-poms with gusto, punctuating the performance with a triumphant mic drop. The entire scene, captured on camera, stood as a testament to the boundless love and happiness shared within the family leaving smiles on the faces of all who witnessed it. As the song approached its end, the father executed the epic mic drop, dropping one of the pom-poms with flair, capping off his impressive performance. With nonchalant ease, he then exited the living room, returning to his chores, 
completely unaware that his dance routine had been captured on camera. The wholesome fun captured in the viral video underscored the unexpected joy that hidden cameras can unveil. Transcending their usual association with surveillance for nefarious purposes. The comments flooding in reflected an outpouring of love and admiration for the caring father. With many dubbing him the best dad of the year. Susanna Daniel and Gabriel Klopp were among the YouTube users who praised the father's devotion to his children. Recognizing him as a down to earth dad who prioritized fun and laughter. For Stella, the hidden camera had initially been installed to keep an eye on her kids and perhaps capture some cute moments. Little did she know, it would capture something even more precious a glimpse of her husband's unwavering love and devotion to their family. When she saw the footage, Alarm quickly turned into a smile. Knowing she had to share her husband's endearing antics with the world. Caught on camera. The father's dance performance became a cherished memory for the family. Immortalized in a video clip that would be treasured forever. The video that took the YouTube community by storm was titled Mom Finds Out How Dad Watches the Kids. However, some viewers found the title misleading. Expecting something less heartwarming. Comments such as, am I the only one who thought this was going to be bad? And, from the title I thought this guy was a child abuser. Boy was I wrong, reflected initial misconceptions. Stella. An online sensation. Initially shared the video on Facebook. Where it gained significant attention. Mike Jordan later uploaded the footage to YouTube. Humorously commenting that the dad's dance moves resembled a goat having a seizure. Despite the humorous commentary, the video resonated with audiences, amassing over 2 million views, 28,000 likes, and 5,000 comments since its sharing in September 2015. This instance is not unique. Stella's husband's playful interaction with their kids is just one example of heartwarming family moments captured on camera. Such candid moments serve as reminders of the joy and warmth found in everyday family life. Lisa Roth shared a video on YouTube titled, Hidden Camera Captures Dad and Daughter Dancing to Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling, in May 2016. Once again, it showcased a loving father making efforts to entertain his daughter. Capturing yet another heartwarming family moment on camera. The bond between fathers and sons is often considered one of the most emotionally profound human connections. However, it's characterized by a notable absence of verbal expression, leaving much unsaid and creating a noticeable gap between them. This gap, metaphorically representing the distance between a name and a surname, prompts reflection on why affectionate gestures diminish as sons mature. Questions arise about the reasons behind the gradual decline in physical expressions of love towards fathers as sons grow older. This phenomenon perpetuates an unspoken discomfort and emotional distance. Continuing across generations in an ongoing cycle. Breaking free from this pattern requires introspection and a willingness to challenge societal norms dictating emotional expression within father-son relationships. Realizing that. Like many others. Had minor issues with my father. I came to understand a profound truth. Some might chalk it up to a generation gap or a difference of opinion. But I saw something deeper. Unconsciously. I was mirroring my father's mannerisms. Speech. And even emotions. It dawned on me that a father not only passes on his name but also shapes his son's personality. Thus. If you find fault with your father. You're essentially grappling with aspects of yourself. In another context. A nanny found herself in the midst of controversy after a TikTok video featuring her and her male employer garnered attention. The video. Posted on August 3rd. Shows Lizzie Norton. A 23-year-old nanny. And Andrew. A father of two. Playfully reenacting a scene from Dirty Dancing. They take turns lifting each other and sharing a light-hearted moment. Despite the innocent nature of the video, it sparked speculation about their relationship. However, both Norton and Andrew's wife, Rachel, have vehemently denied any inappropriate behavior. 
emphasizing the professional nature of their association. Rachel, Andrew's wife, can be heard giggling in the background while filming the video. At one point, she can be heard saying, You thumbed her boobs. The video recently went viral on Rachel's TikTok account, where she shares content about her husband, two children, and nanny under the handle at Rapo3. With approximately 95,000 followers, Rachel's TikTok account has a significant audience. The Dirty Dancing video has garnered 7.2 million views. Additionally, the video was reposted by an account called Thebus Lovinani, which provides advice and discussion points for aspiring nannies. It has been viewed 5.3 million times. In response to the clip, Michelle Garza, the person behind the Best Love Nanny account, emphasized the importance of nannies modeling healthy behavior with their employers. She stated in a second video that she doesn't believe anything has gone wrong but acknowledges that the video may have blurred lines. However, various social media users criticized the video in the comments. Some suggested that Andrew and Norton were flirting, while others implied that Andrew was grooming Norton due to the perceived age gap between them. The sexual abuse charity Rain defines grooming as a tactic employed by someone in a victim's circle of trust. In the days following the video, Rachel posted three TikTok videos defending the original video and denying allegations of grooming. Norton joined her for these videos, which received a combined viewership of 5.5 million. In one of the videos, Rachel stated that while Norton and Andrew saw each other every day during the pandemic, this is no longer the case since Andrew returned to his workplace. She emphasized their close relationship likening Norton to a little sister. Rachel expressed affection for Norton, describing her as goofy and stating that they enjoy joking around with each other. After watching this story, how do you feel? Feel free to share with us in the comments section below. And then there is another similar touching story. Let's expect what will happen. A mother sets up a camera before giving birth, capturing moments usually hidden from view. In addition to the already incredible act of childbirth, these women take it a step further by actively participating in delivering their own babies. A process documented on camera. Assisted by medical professionals or midwives. They catch their newborns as they emerge during the final moments of labor. Gently guiding them into the world. These raw and intimate moments are beautifully documented by birth photographers who share their thoughts on witnessing the incredible love and strength of these women as they meet their child for the first time. While giving birth is undeniably miraculous. It's far from easy. Reactions from real moms emphasize the common occurrence of baby dropping. Particularly close to the due date. Capturing the exact moment of baby dropping on camera is uncommon but one expectant mother was fortunate enough to do so. As she was filming her growing bump. She witnessed the miraculous event unfold. It's a poignant illustration of the miracle of childbirth. Showcasing what women can achieve through pain, sweat, and tears. When a woman enters labor, her body undergoes rapid changes to bring forth new life into the world. Mothers understand firsthand that childbirth is an incredible, inspiring, and at times daunting process, it's just plain cool. Yes. We said it. The vagina is cool. For those who may have avoided contemplating the mechanics of pushing a baby through such a small opening. These photos provide incredible detail. The female body goes through various contortions to facilitate the birth process. A wonder deserving of celebration with reverence. Despite the hours of painful labor. Many women pause in the midst of pushing to touch their baby's crowning head for the first time a moment that's irreplaceable. Birth photographers often highlight the remarkable versatility of the vagina by capturing the moment when a baby's head is about to crown. These intimate and inspiring birth photos showcase the beauty and wonder of the moment a baby emerges from its mother's womb. Affirming the strength of women. The process of baby dropping occurs when the baby's head descends lower into the pelvis. Becoming engaged within the pubic bones. 
signaling the beginning of its descent into the world. Lightning. Or the onset of labor. Can occur weeks before or just hours prior to labor itself. Though I have yet to experience the gift of parenthood. I can only imagine the profound feeling of holding your newborn baby and looking into their eyes for the first time, a truly stunning experience. Despite the challenges and complications that may arise in a hospital room, the moment of meeting your baby makes it all worthwhile. When a baby drops, a mother may immediately notice a few things, easier breathing, but also increased pressure on the pelvis and bladder. In an unexpected turn of events, a pregnant woman in California gave birth on her front lawn. Captured by a ring doorbell camera, an occurrence she certainly hadn't planned for. In astonishing footage, Emily Johnson, 31, can be seen and heard pushing her son into the waiting hands of her mother outside their Vacaville home on Thursday. As her husband looks on, Emily, who had planned to accept pain medication at the hospital, told CNN that having a natural childbirth was not part of her birth plan. But due to the rapid progression of labor, they knew they wouldn't make it to the hospital. Amidst encouragement from her mother, Christy Sparks, and with emergency service lights flashing in the background, Emily pushes while an EMT from the Vacaville Fire Department rushes to assist the family on the grass. Reflecting on the outdoor delivery, Sparks described the experience as surreal. Recalling the moment she felt the baby's head against her hand. As her baby, Thomas, cries for the first time. Emily's cries of pain turn into laughter, expressing joy and relief at the arrival of her son. Born at 7 pounds and 11 ounces at 10.42 p.m. M. As evidenced by the time stamp on the ring camera footage, Thomas becomes the newest resident of Vacaville. After childbirth, the pain may subside as the body releases hormones, particularly oxytocin, creating an overwhelming feeling holding the newborn on your chest. Everything else seems blurry except for the clear image of the baby's face. Post-birth. The body undergoes rapid changes as it works to return to its pre-pregnancy state. Nursing stimulates uterine contractions. Aiding in the process of the uterus returning to its normal size. While there may be discomfort akin to bad period cramps, these gradually lessen over time. In the early stages of labor, Contractions may be hardly noticeable. Possibly mistaken for Braxton Hicks contractions experienced in previous weeks. These women take it a step further by actively participating in delivering their own babies. A process documented on camera. Assisted by medical professionals or midwives. They catch their newborns as they emerge during the final moments of labor. Gently guiding them into the world. These raw and intimate moments are beautifully documented by birth photographers, who share their thoughts on witnessing the incredible love and strength of these women as they meet their child for the first time. While giving birth is undeniably miraculous, it's far from easy. Reactions from real moms emphasize the common occurrence of baby dropping, particularly close to the due date. Capturing the exact moment of baby dropping on camera is uncommon but one expectant mother was fortunate enough to do so. As she was filming her growing bump, she witnessed the miraculous event unfold. It's a poignant illustration of the miracle of childbirth. Showcasing what women can achieve through pain, sweat, and tears. When a woman enters labor, her body undergoes rapid changes to bring forth new life into the world. Mothers understand firsthand that childbirth is an incredible, inspiring, and at times daunting process, it's just plain cool. Yes. We said it. The vagina is cool. For those who may have avoided contemplating the mechanics of pushing a baby through such a small opening. These photos provide incredible detail. The female body goes through various contortions to facilitate the birth process. A wonder deserving of celebration with reverence. Despite the hours of painful labor, many women pause in the midst of pushing to touch their baby's crowning head for the first time, a moment that's irreplaceable. 
Birth photographers often highlight the remarkable versatility of the vagina by capturing the moment when a baby's head is about to crown. These intimate and inspiring birth photos showcase the beauty and wonder of the moment a baby emerges from its mother's womb. Affirming the strength of women. The process of baby dropping occurs when the baby's head descends lower into the pelvis. Becoming engaged within the pubic bones. Signaling the beginning of its descent into the world. Lightning. Or the onset of labor. Can occur weeks before or just hours prior to labor itself. Though I have yet to experience the gift of parenthood. I can only imagine the profound feeling of holding your newborn baby and looking into their eyes for the first time, a truly stunning experience. Despite the challenges and complications that may arise in a hospital room, the moment of meeting your baby makes it all worthwhile. When a baby drops, a mother may immediately notice a few things, easier breathing, but also increased pressure on the pelvis and bladder. In an unexpected turn of events, a pregnant woman in California gave birth on her front lawn. Captured by a ring doorbell camera, an occurrence she certainly hadn't planned for. In astonishing footage, Emily Johnson, 31, can be seen and heard pushing her son into the waiting hands of her mother outside their Vacaville home on Thursday. As her husband looks on, Emily, who had planned to accept pain medication at the hospital, told CNN that having a natural childbirth was not part of her birth plan. But due to the rapid progression of labor, they knew they wouldn't make it to the hospital. Amidst encouragement from her mother, Christy Sparks, and with emergency service lights flashing in the background, Emily pushes while an EMT from the Vacaville Fire Department rushes to assist the family on the grass. Reflecting on the outdoor delivery, Sparks described the experience as surreal. Recalling the moment she felt the baby's head against her hand. As her baby, Thomas, cries for the first time. Emily's cries of pain turn into laughter. Expressing joy and relief at the arrival of her son. Born at 7 pounds and 11 ounces at 10.42 p.m. M. As evidenced by the time stamp on the ring camera footage. Thomas becomes the newest resident of Vacaville. After childbirth. The pain may subside as the body releases hormones. Particularly oxytocin. Creating an overwhelming feeling. Holding the newborn on your chest. Everything else seems blurry except for the clear image of the baby's face. Post-birth. The body undergoes rapid changes as it works to return to its pre-pregnancy state. Nursing stimulates uterine contractions. Aiding in the process of the uterus returning to its normal size. While there may be discomfort akin to bad period cramps. These gradually lessen over time. In the early stages of labor. Contractions may be hardly noticeable. Possibly mistaken for Braxton Hicks contractions experienced in previous weeks. It's like your belly is doing crunches without your active participation. Emily recounted to Inside Edition that she and her husband, Michael, were en route to Vacaville Hospital, a mere five minutes from their home, when she realized she couldn't make it to the car. Feeling nauseous and noticing the damp grass, she decided to lay down. Little did she know she wouldn't get up until her second son was born. She humorously compared herself to a cow giving birth in a field while her husband hurried back and forth from the house to the impromptu delivery site. It was only later that they realized the ring camera had been recording the entire event. Emily jokingly remarked that she was thankful she hadn't been facing the other way. As she wouldn't have wanted that footage to be seen by anyone. Upon finally reaching the hospital, they relived the extraordinary birth on their phone with nursing staff joining in to watch, amusedly cleaning grass clippings and dirt off the new mother's knees. Once the video was shared with a local news station, it quickly went viral, reaching friends across states and even viewers in Canada and Mexico. In light of recent negative news, Emily finds joy and laughter in the video of her groaning like a farm animal while welcoming her second baby. Childbirth. She reflects is an utterly exhausting experience, with women enduring pain for extended periods. 
often riding the roller coaster of labor for days. Another intense moment during childbirth is when the baby begins to descend and is about to crown. Commonly referred to as the ring of fire. It's described as a large head being pushed through a small vaginal canal and opening. I vividly recall this moment as I delivered without an epidural. Feeling every sensation. While I've never been a proponent of medication. I wanted to test my ability to endure the pain. However. I made it clear that if I couldn't bear it. I might need an epidural. There's a critical window where epidurals can no longer be administered. Typically when the baby is crowning. Michael jokingly remarked that this would be a story to embarrass their child with for years to come. Emily is now back home and recovering well. As reported by various news outlets. Their three-year-old son. Blake. Has been enjoying plenty of bonding time with his new baby brother. Reflecting on their experience. Emily humorously suggests that next time. They might just tailgate in a hospital parking lot to be better prepared. Babies are born without a sense of self or awareness of their surroundings. They experience sensations such as hunger, discomfort, and the need for bonding, but they don't comprehend their own bodies or the world around them. Initially, they perceive their mother as a source of comfort without realizing she is a separate individual. As understanding the concept of personhood takes time to develop. As babies begin to navigate the world and develop a sense of self. They enter the separation individuation phase. Typically starting around nine months and lasting until the child is two or three years old. The duration of this phase varies from child to child. And its successful completion hinges on the preceding stage being comfortably fulfilled. Without traumatic experiences such as an absent caregiver. Responding promptly to a baby's cries reinforces their trust that their needs will be met. Laying the foundation for healthy attachment. Conversely, unanswered cries may lead them to feel unimportant or neglected. Eroding their trust in caregivers. Treating children with the same care and respect we hope for when we're vulnerable is crucial. Fostering lifelong bonds and mutual trust. Breastfeeding. If possible. Offers numerous benefits that extend throughout life. Transitioning from a couple to parents can be overwhelming. But the support of hospital staff can ease the initial adjustment. However, returning home reveals the full extent of the baby's dependence, making the first week intense and challenging. Despite the difficulties, witnessing the behind the scenes reality of that first week can be reassuring and empowering for new parents. Moms who share their childbirth experiences, particularly those who actively participate in the process, describe it as nothing short of magical. Assisting in the delivery reaffirms the incredible capabilities of the body and the profound bond between parent and child. Do you have any insights after watching the above two stories? Feel free to tell us in the comments sections below. Above is today's story. If you like it, Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time. That's all about our today's stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you next time.